we are here to produce scientific data for the scientific community. We are trying to make all this uh, effort, a huge effort, in order to uh, unveil the mystery of the universe. And you never know what it is. You never know what you will find. Huh? But it is so motivating. You every day you go to work and you are doing something special in a very special environment with very special people. So very, I'm very proud of that. Coming back to the question of life, for instance, life forms on planets. How do planets form? How do solar systems form? And we have a rough idea, but we don't know the details of it. Given the nature of our location, we are in the desert, high altitude, very isolated. Conditions are harsh. In the winter we get snowstorms, in the summer we have the altiplanic winter with thunderstorms and so on. The data is analog, of course, when it enters the telescope and we need to amplify the signal coming in. But after that we digitize it and from that point on it's, uh, it's, it's total digital data. So we are producing more and more data and we need to you know, increase the size of the data archives. We need to change the media as time goes by. So the archives are also constantly evolving. Every year we have to collect more or less like 250 uh, terabytes and we have to store them. So one of the challenges is how you will manage all this data, how you will put this data available for the science community. It means having the uh, right equipment, the right people, the right data centers distributed, the right bandwidth, uh, bandwidth uh, links. So we're talking about a global uh, provider. In the future, my job, what I did here, will be still valuable for the people working here. Thank you.